Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm so excited to be trying the brand new Fenty Beauty Ease Drop Skin Tints. Words cannot describe how excited I was when I saw this. I was like, I, I'm the kind of person who has never used or tried a skin tint in their life, but because my favourite brand has dropped a skin tint, I need to get it and I need to try it. Now, I actually don't think I have ever tried or had a skin tint. Like, I've always just used foundation, whether it's been medium coverage, full coverage, whatever, it's always just been foundation. I've never really thought to get a skin tint before, but you know how obsessed I am with Fenty Beauty. I'm literally, anytime Fenty Beauty comes out with a product, I am on it and I get it straight away. So, yet again, we are here to try and test this brand new product. Okay, let me just read a little bit about the product. Not like I really need to be convinced to get it anyway, but Fenty Beauty put on their story, why do I need ease drop? It is a flexible, light, to medium, everyday coverage for those no makeup, makeup days. It's a serum-like texture that melts into your skin and diffuses the look of pores. Hydrating skin tint that instantly evens your complexion for a soft, blurred finish. It's sweat, humidity and transfer resistant and it's easy to blend. You can apply it with your hands, of course, as long as they are clean. The two shades that I got, so basically for the skin tint, if you have the foundation in Pro Filter, it'll basically tell you what shade you need to get in the skin tint. Whether you have any of the previous foundations, so the Soft Matte Long Wear, the Hydrating Long Wear Foundation, or the Soft Matte Powder Foundation, these are all Pro Filter foundations, so whatever shade you are in those, if it's a perfect match, then basically you just need to look at the chart and it'll tell you what skin tint to get. So my Pro Filter shade is 310, which means Ease Drop Skin Tint in shade 12 is my perfect shade. However, they did say that there's two shades that you can use. So, 12 is my perfect 310 Pro Filter shade. However, I can also use shade 13. So, we're going to try them both and see how they look. We're going to see how they both look side by side and then we'll do them all over our face. I just love, it's a squeezy bottle as well, so it's literally just so easy. Like, I love the packaging. Look at that packaging, it's so beautiful. I don't know what it, what it is, it's just like the shape of the bottle, it's just so nice and different. And this is 13, so this is them side by side. Now, I feel like they don't look too different, but we'll see. We'll see how they look on our face. We need to make sure that we shake well before use. I'm just going to put a little drop side by side, so it literally just screws off. I have done no makeup whatsoever, like blank canvas. I've done some skin prep. Um, I went in with my Fenty Skin. Hydra Visor Moisturising Cream because they said that this works pretty well with the skin tint so I thought may as well give it a try. I'm just going to do it on my hands here. So this is 12. This is supposed to be my perfect shade. It looks pretty... yeah? And I'll just put 13 beside it. 12 at the top and 13 at the bottom. Let's just blend that out. So this is 12. Oh, it literally blends in so seamlessly. It's literally just disappeared. Okay, it's literally just disappeared into my hand. I don't even know where that's gone. Okay, and 13. So 12 has disappeared into my hand, 13 you can see it slightly, so that must be slightly, a little bit darker. Let's just go in and try this. Let's go in with 12 on our left side with our hands and then we'll go on the right side with a, a beauty blender just to see the difference. Now you only need literally a few drops, so I'm just taking like that small amount. I'm scared, I don't know why. It's 
Oh my gosh. Right, look at all these imperfections here. Look how it's just blurring. I know that you can still see some of my spots there and dark circles, but I feel like it's just blurred it out as well. I'm just putting a bit more. And I'm gonna blend it out. It is literally blending into the skin so nicely and it's really weird because it almost feels like I'm, I'm just putting a moisturising cream on which is amazing. So you can see the imperfections on this side of my face, however before I feel like you, you could see that the spots were a lot more red than what they are now, like I feel like it looks so blurred and it's not as like red as what they were or dark as they were even this spot here this is like a fresh spot and I feel like it's it's still got the redness there because it is a fresh spot but I feel like it has just smoothed and blurred it out slightly from what it was before oh my gosh I am loving it I am loving this look how natural and smooth and blurred ease drop no eavesdrop. Eavesdrop. No eavesdrop. Eavesdrop. No eavesdrop. This side you can see. You can see what I'm talking about with the pigmentation, the redness, the brown dark dots. Like you can see, you can see all that, right? Let's go in with shade 13 on this side. We're just going to apply it straight to our face. I know I probably don't need this much, but it's fine. Fine. Now this time, we are going to go in with our Beauty Blender. Even that redness around my nose is gone. Look at this. Wow. Look how it's covering. Just look at that. Just look how that covered. The pigmentation, the redness, the dark spots. That blurred it out so nicely, like of course you can still see it, of course, but compared to what it was before, it blended it out so nicely, it looks so natural and just smooth and flawless, it feels like I have absolutely nothing on as well, which is the best part, like, I don't feel like, you know when you know that you have makeup on and you're like, okay, I need to be careful, like, don't rub my eye, don't, like, swipe my face, don't lie down on a pillow, because it's just gonna get everywhere I feel like I have nothing like, on apart like, from me holding a beauty blender right now I feel like I've done nothing and I've put nothing on my skin this is so flawless and you know what as well shade wise I think both shades look pretty good at first when I like just dotted that all over my face I was like this might be a little bit too just not dark but more like orange toned whereas both sides have literally just blended into perfection. Compared to my neck as well, I'm not seeing any colour difference at all. I think both shades are a pretty perfect match, which is perfect and great for me. Guys, like. just look at my skin. How blurred and flawless it looks. I am so shocked right now. This is insane. This is just a moisturising tint, what is going on? Fenty Beauty. I just cannot keep up. And I just cannot. I just cannot. I can't. I don't even want to go in with any powder or any, any concealer or any... I don't want to go in with anything else because I feel like this has literally just blurred into perfection. Yes! You can still see that I have bags. Not a big deal. Who cares? We all have bags. But it just... This is perfection. I am honestly so shook. Shook. I can't even speak. I'm honestly so shook at this. 
this is perfection. This is so easy. This is so easy to do. Like, if you want to go out and, I don't know, you want to give your skin... If you're going out and you can't buy doing full makeup, you just want to give your skin a little bit of a, a glow or a lift or whatever, this is perf perfect for that. I was going to say perfection. This is perfection, but that this is perfect for that. Like, I would feel so good just instead of doing a full face of makeup, maybe just doing like a light eye look, something gold or something like that. Literally just squeezing this into my hand, putting it on my face, done, ready to go. Like... This is how easy and perfect this looks, and I am obsessed. I am so obsessed with this. It is insane. It's beautiful. I love it. I love it. I love it. Let me know what you guys do think of this skin tint as well. If you have tried it yourself, let me know. If you haven't and you now want to try it, let me know, because I am completely obsessed with this. I am so glad I got it, and I'm so glad I got it in the two shades as well. I feel like both shades are just perfect, but I'm, I'm glad that I got the two shades more product for me. Let me know if you did see a difference with either of the shades as well actually. Let me know in the comment section if you thought 12, my match, was a perfect match or if you thought 13 or if you just thought they both looked good as well. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video. This was a super exciting one for me and I hope you guys did enjoy it. Make sure you leave a like, comment and subscribe and I will see you in my next video.